and they want to shut you down, mm-hmm. and yet they want to be able to put in your face and do whatever they want, and mm-hmm. we're not allowed to disagree with it. Absolutely. Lainey, did you have uh, you had some comments you wanted to to, uh, to say? Right, right. Well, I, I totally agree with you, Jesse. I'm an evangelical, non-denominational Christian, and yeah. uh, I, I've worked all my life, and it's not necessarily what I wanted to do, but just because of what I had to do. That's so, right. You know, the government has has forced this upon us, and, you know, we've, through the years, we've grown to being forced into that, and therefore we've kind of ignored our families. Now, was, but then because of, I got involved in that through, and year after year after year, and I grew up the ladder in my career, and then I I liked it, but I I still knew that wasn't necessarily where I was supposed to be, but right. fortunately, fortunately, God blessed me with a beautiful daughter, and she turned out just great. She's a godly woman. But I wanted to comment on what you were, on how you were ambushed on Hannity the other night. Uh, I think, I think it seemed to me that Hannity seemed aware that Kirsten was going to hijack his show, although he pretended he didn't, he wasn't. <laughs> what, what are your thoughts on that? Well, well, I, I know Hannity's honestly, your friend, though, too, right? No, I, yeah. and I would be honest about my dear friend. Uh, I'm honest about my children. I'm honest mm-hmm. about myself. So I can honestly tell you I don't believe he knew about that. Okay. He, okay. he was absolutely surprised, but okay. he wasn't concerned about me because he knows that I can handle myself. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> well, we saw that, yeah. And, and to be honest with you, I thought that moment was a gift from God oh, yeah. be, because it allowed me to get – you know, uh, putting the truth out there even more so about what's going on. And I've had men and women from all over the country who absolutely agree with me, and they're happy that I've shined some light on this, and maybe we can get a discussion going now, because there are three uh, segments of our population or our culture that we are not allowed to mention, and that is the women, the gays, and the blacks. Mm-hmm. If you mention that, it's like talking. I mean, it's just Mm-mm. you can talk badly about Christ before you can those three groups. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> oh yeah, so we to, know that. Yeah. And so to shine some light on it, well, of course, uh, between the the time that show aired, they aired it on the View. Did you hear about that? Oh yeah, we saw it. Yeah, I didn't see uh, it live, but we've seen that. We've seen the replay now. You know, yeah, it's all over. They, yeah, they aired it on the View. We have had as of today over a hundred and 20,000 people viewed that video. And I have to tell you that the liberal men and women are having a hissy fit. I, I talk about how, I talk about how, I made just a quick point. I talk about how emotional they are and their decisions are based on their emotion. And they're like, I'm not emotional. And while at the same time cursing me out and calling me names. Mm-hmm. I'm just I'm just glad to hear men can have hissy fits too. That's right. <laughs> a masculine hissy fit. We don't want to be yeah, masculinized. We don't want to be masculinized, you guys, any more than you have been. But you have been as a yeah. society. We have yeah. demasculinized, you know, our our men, our sons. Yeah. You know, let them man up. You know, That's right. Uh, right. But and but, you know, the sad thing about it when you destroy the man it's over for society because whether we like it or not accept it or not believe it or not there is a spiritual order that was set in motion and ordained by god and that order is god in christ christ in man man and woman women over children man over woman women over children it's not a competition it's a spiritual order it's not that one is better but god ordained it to be that way and when you live it like that and don't resent it life works good for the whole family and for the country at large right i i wanted to since i you know when i in the intro said i i worked as an rn and you know worked in really high stressful jobs where i had to make quick decisions i wanted to i wanted to to emphasize and and see what your take is on this if i'm understanding it correctly reverend that when i when i pondered it you know uh because i thought well wait a minute i i know that i can handle stress i don't think the point is if certain women, by the grace of God, can handle stress or not in certain things, I don't think in all things, okay? Right, But right. the point is, is that how God ordained it? Is that how God ordained it for for the woman to be on her own as a single mother, to be having no. to take, right? I mean, this no. is where I'm getting that. Is, is this not what you were 
talking about in some respects. God did not ordain it that a woman should be alone and have children on her own and have to go out there and hustle and bustle. Mm -hmm. He ordained it that that's why when he created Adam and Eve, brought Eve from Adam, the first thing he did was was to uh, marry them so that they could come one and work together. Uh, 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 Christ get his strength from God. Man get his strength from Christ, and the woman get her strength from her from her husband. When she is a little girl, she gets it from her mother, which is passed down from the father. Mm. And so, when you have those two orders together, it works well. And kids tend to listen or obey their mother more when they know that the mother is loving the husband or loving their fathers and that or, and the mother is making sure that uh the order of the father or the desires of the father are carried out. It just create it keeps love within the family and also create a sense of order and a sense of confidence and secure when that order is there. And we knew this security when that order is there. and we knew this when I was growing up. Uh that order was there. My grandfather married with my grandmother and my uh, my mother to my stepfather because I was born. She got pregnant out of wedlock, but it was an embarrassment to be pregnant, so she married my stepfather before I was born. And that order was respected. Did they have disagreements? Yes. But that order was respected, and we as children knew that. And whatever my grandmother would, or my mother would say, I'm going to tell your, your dad or I'm going to tell your your granddad on you, I knew I better kick an order right away. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I I I just wanted to add to to what you're what you're talking about there is that uh when when it's not that and and here's the big thing that that the liberal women and and non-Christians or even Christians that don't totally understand, you know, these principles say is that well, you know what? No, men aren't the dictators over, you know, women. No, it's not that's not it's not a dictatorship not at all. You know, you know, it, in fact, God, I, I believe, Reverend, you can you can correct me. I I, I believe that God uh, sees men and women as 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 their partners. They are they are we are each good at different areas, and together together a man and woman can parent a child like no. That is the That's way right. it's supposed to be. A woman brings certain things to the table, That's and a right. man brings certain things. A woman trying to discipline her children on her own. Never works. That's right. Amen. You know, it's silly to think that I'm talking about dictatorship. That doesn't even make sense to me. That doesn't compute. I, know. I, I know. just think these people who say that I'm talking about dictatorship need to really check themselves out and realize that they have issue with the man and woman relationship. Mm-hmm. No one, I'm not talking, that's crazy. I know, but Christian, I, I read that somewhere, yeah. As a Christian oh, man, I don't believe that. That's silly. Because when you have perfect love, when you have the love of God guiding you, you 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 guide with patience and love and understanding and truth. You're not trying to force anyone to do anything. You are honest with them, but you're not trying to force them. You're not beating anyone. You're not disrespecting. You are loving them in the same manner that Christ is loving you. Well, what isn't it St. Paul that that, that I, I can't remember the the exact quote, but that 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 husbands should love their wives as Christ loved the church, or exactly. and, he died, and he died for the he died for the church. So and, and Christ loved us with honesty. You know, He would tell us the truth. He would try to get us to see that what we're doing is wrong, and if we don't listen, He let us jump off the cliff and, and break our leg. And then He said, "I tried to tell you." Mm-hmm. But he doesn't force you to do anything. You no. can't force anyone to do anything. No, we have free will, of course. Yes. We're yes. all uh, a forcing. If God, you know, people that that's the whole question of free will. It's kind of off topic, but you know how I explain it, it or how it was explained. 